Thanks for clicking on this video. Join us on board the largest ship in the world, Icon of the Seas, for a three-day preview cruise before the inaugural cruise. It is day two and we just returned to the ship from the adults only beach area, Hideaway Beach at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Check out that vlog if you haven't already. In this video, we will explore more of the ship's entertainment, dine at Playmakers, tour the spa, watch The Wizard of Oz, and more. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider doing so because we have lots of cruise content on the way. We are off to go check out the spa. Now the spa is two levels, deck 12 and deck 14, but you can't access it from deck 12. You have to go through the main entrance on deck 14, so that's where we're headed. All right, so here we are at Vitality at Sea, which is the spa located on board Icon of the Seas. Now, keep in mind the services here are an additional charge. You can pre-reserve and pay for these services in advance on the cruise planner or on the Royal Caribbean website. Keep in mind, sometimes on embarkation day, they will offer different specials, but they have a full service barber shop, beauty salon. The beauty salon has like a nail bar. Um, of course, you can get your hair cut, wash and all of that. They, e they even have a, um, a blow drying bar where you can get your hair blown out. I've never done that, wouldn't know what that's about, but yeah, that's a pretty cool feature that they have here on this ship. Now, um, one of my favorite things about a spa would be the thermal area. And I'll be quite honest in saying that I was a bit disappointed in the thermal spa area on this ship. I think I expected it to be pretty large considering the size of the ship. And me, I personally would book um, a week long or cruise long thermal spa pass, but I was a bit underwhelmed when I walked into that area. We made the alarm go off <laughs> in the steam room. It's still going off. Yikes. You hear it? <laughs> Didn't think about it. I was trying to film and yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. If you're enjoying the steam room walking out, but it wasn't open that long, was it, Gina? I think it was like 10 seconds of the steam room being open and it's, the alarm's going off. All right, so here we are headed down to deck 12 of the spa. Now keep in mind it's deck 14 and deck 12. Just a quick fun fact, most cruise ships do not have a deck 13 because it's considered bad luck, but you have your treatment rooms um, located there if you're gonna get massages and different things. And here's a relaxation lounge for you to relax in before you get your treatments or your massages done. And here's a quick sneak peek of Coastal Kitchen, which is the suite's only lounge and restaurant. So if you stay in a suite, this is your lounge. All right, call me weird, but I feel like on this ship, there's some beautiful artwork and statues and different things. They were just, they just seem to be a bit misplaced for me. Here you have a lady diving. She's diving into Central Park. I don't know why this wasn't put above a pool, but it just kind of creeps me out. I don't, I don't think I care for that. we were trying to get into the sweet neighborhood. I did tour this during our live stream, so check that out. But yeah, our card yeah. said denied. <laughs> so we're gonna hit up this other jacuzzi for a little bit. Nice, they have a lift. For the jacuzzi, this is deck 16. Probably hot, it looks hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
beautiful day. Now, if you like adventure, definitely check out Crown's Edge. We did not try this on our sailing, but it's gonna pretty much put you on the side of the ship and you're gonna have this drop. Um, just not my thing, but if you're into it, it's about 90 to $100 per person and you can reserve it on the Royal Caribbean app. And here we are at base camp. Now this is a casual dining option, but this does require an upcharge. So all of the food items are a la carte. Um, we also did not try this, although it was included for our sailing. I totally missed it and didn't even try it, but I've heard the cheese curds and some of the other items are really good. So definitely check it out. And here we are at the hideaway section of Icon of the Seas. Now this is the adults only area. Um, as you saw, there were a couple jacuzzis. You have the pool, the infinity pool that is suspended. It's the first one at sea. There's a bar, all kinds of cool things down there. Now I have to be honest, I didn't even check out this section of the ship during our stay, but I'm sure there's tons of other content out there that will include the hideaway. So definitely check out some of the other content creators. But this area looks really nice. I think if we get back on Icon, I will have to spend some time there. So I am here trying to get on the water slide, but it sounds like they're having issues. You said something with the light system. Um, so can't get on the water slide yet. They said the only one working right now is this orange drop. I can't do that. And I promise you guys 2,500 views on a live stream that I would go there. Uh, not that one. I said I would do the purple or the blue one. Those are closed right now. Obviously um, said they should be open later, so we'll try back later. But yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Well, I'm not doing that drop one, so <laughs> uh, we'll just look at it from the outside. Gifts. Thank you, Royal Caribbean. All right, we have taken a quick break. We freshened up some um, it's beautiful artwork. Anyway, we freshened up a little bit and we are um, gonna go to Playmakers, uh, have an early dinner. We didn't really have lunch, we kind of had an early light breakfast then we had a little bit at coco k but we're gonna go ahead and get some wings and then check out see what else there is for dinner um we have wizard of oz here in a little bit and a couple other things going on so make sure you stay tuned but we are here headed to playmakers oh this is the attic the uh, comedy club let's check it out real quick you yeah, don't think we came here at all or maybe not <laughs> Let's see, let's see if we can peek in. Hold on. Oh, looks like they're having a special meeting or something. I don't know. We won't go in there right now. We'll check it out in a little bit. <laughs> So here we are behind the Pearl. This is the, I think it's called the Pearl Cafe. Let me check, double check. Make sure I'm telling you guys the correct thing. But I think it's, this is, this replaces the Promenade Cafe. Um, I believe it is called the Pearl Cafe.
All right, so we're here at Playmakers. Um, now this is a bar, of course, as you see, um, but they have different food options. They have wings and things. I've never had it on Royal Caribbean. I've heard the wings are really good, so we're gonna give that a try um, for this preview sailing. Hello. Oh, you're gonna get a drink? Yes. I'm gonna have, um, let me get a margarita. The goalpost margarita, yes. Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. I'll try the melon ball smash. Thank you so much. And the before, are you on one sample, sure, or two? Two, two please. <laughs> and the wings, buffalo barbecue to make and jerk, or like one? Uh, mine to make and jerk. Buffalo. Thank you. Thank so you. So for this preview sailing, they're giving us a sample basket, so you can purchase food. Um, or you can just get the sample basket. We're gonna try the sample basket and see what it's about. If it's really good, I might come back and pay for it. But it's reasonably priced. I think it was 12 wings for $12.99. That's not bad, um, depending on the size of the wings. So not terrible. But yeah, we're here. Um, lots of TVs, they have games. Cool spot. Now one thing that I noticed is that to get to absolute zero, which is the ice skating rink, you have to actually cut through Playmakers to get to absolute zero. So something to consider coming through with kids. I think there's an event about to happen over there. So maybe we will eat and get over there to see what's happening. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool spot. I don't think I've ever hung out at Playmakers on Royal Caribbean, uh, but I'm like, we're gonna give it a try. So we're here, we're gonna drink, we're gonna get something light to eat and um, see what the rest of the day brings. <laughs> Y'all didn't read the description on this. Margarita. It's spicy. It has jalapenos in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's, it gives you a kick. Not my style of drink. I'm gonna have a couple more sips of this and trade it out. But um, yeah, if you come to Playmakers, you don't like spicy, don't get this margarita. I didn't read the description. I just said margarita. And it has jalapenos all through there. So I'll take a couple more sips. I don't have to pass this back. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this food is good. <laughs> I've never had Playmakers. I'd pay for this. This is good. The wings, and they're worth it. They're nice sized wings. They're breaded. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I haven't been here sooner. But definitely good. This sampler is huge. <laughs> we were expecting just, you know, like maybe one wing, one little slider. No, this is like a full meal. So we're eating, we're gonna enjoy. And as I mentioned before, you have to cut through Playmakers to get to Absolute Zero, which is the ice skating rink and where you're going to find the ice show. I didn't realize at the time that you actually have to cut through Playmakers to get to the Teens Club as well. So we're going to check that out. We were trying to check out um, Absolute Zero, but it was closed at this time. But we will have some content for this tomorrow during the ice show. But here, let's check out the Teens Club. So here we are at Social 020, which is the hangout spot for ages 13 through 14. Now I did tour during my live stream, the younger kids clubs, um, so be sure to check that out. But this is a really cool spot for the teens to hang out. As you see, they have televisions, video games, these little nooks here that they can, you know, kind of, you know, if they have a group of friends, they can hang out there. They have these touch screen games and different things. Now I was talking with one of the crew members there and I asked about the hours for this teens club because I know across Royal Caribbean ships, sometimes it seems as though the teens clubs have very limited hours. She said very specifically for this for this ship, for Icon of the Seas and future ships, they've extended the hours for the teens club. So instead of just giving them hours late in the evening, they'll actually have hours in the morning, the afternoon, and late into the evening, which is pretty cool. Now, my only concern or only issue with this teens club is the fact that teens have to cross through Playmakers to get to this space. But, because um, me personally, I wouldn't want my 13 year old daughter, you know, crossing through a bar, um, you know, late in the evening or what have you, but that's just me. But um, as you see, there's plenty of games and activities and things for the kids just to hang out and socialize. So I absolutely love this space. I know our teens would love this. Um, so definitely check this out. And this is something that you would register your kid for whenever you do your online check-in and then when you check in on the ship. But they're free to come and go as they choose. But again, a cool spot to hang out. 
And since we're checking out some of the teen spaces, let's check out the arcade. Now the arcade is designed for family fun, so any and everyone can go to the arcade. Um, keep in mind this is an upcharge, so you wanna be sure that you put some sort of spending limit on your child or your teens. Um, room card otherwise they can just spend 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 here in the arcade so definitely check for that but there's a lot of games and lots of fun things to do here in the arcade highly recommend checking out during your sailing um, they might offer at certain points throughout the cruise a discount here in the arcade it doesn't happen all the time but definitely check the app for that they might have like a, a special where you get half off the arcade but definitely check out this space it is fun for the family and here we are at Sugar Beach. Now this wasn't open on this day, but we will check it out in tomorrow's vlog. But it is the candy store on board. It is candy by the pound. So definitely watch your child spending there. Um, it can be quite expensive, but definitely check it out if you want something sweet. And here's another cool spot that I love for the family. Now this is, of course, within the Surfside neighborhood. Um, this is the Surfside Eatery, which is like a very small wind jammer. So they're gonna have buffet style food items here for the family. I love it because they not only have pizza and hot dogs and things like that for the children, they'll have grilled fish and chicken for the adults um, and vegetables and different things. Of course, they have drink stations, ice and all of that. So uh, Surfside Eatery is a cool spot to get a quick bite rather than going to the Windjammer, especially if you're staying near the Surfside area or if you're spending time with your family there. And if you want to stay outside to dine, you can go to Surfside Bites and get quick things such as um, popcorn chicken, they have hot dogs, burgers, things like that, and churros and all kinds of delicious things. And this is complimentary. <laughs> so get the churros when they're fresh so they're stale. <laughs> Get them while they're fresh. <laughs> Best drink. What, which is this again? Uh, the peachy passion. Peachy passion is the best. Um, yeah, peachy passion is the best. Um, so they have non-alcoholic beverages, and then they have alcoholic beverages. And I feel like they have I feel like they have the best drinks here um, on the ship. We've gone to most of the other bars. We still have a few to hit. We're gonna get those, but yeah, this is good. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. Ahí, amor. Como siempre, los hombres. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening! Uh, that's it. Okay, so good to have you all in. Hello to our media partners, travel partners, friends of the brand. You're all here. Thank you for being here. Give yourselves a round of applause because 
you know, we're about to go live with our uh, paying guests uh, on Saturday for our first cruise, and we are in the final throes of getting everything ready. My name's Nick, by the way. I have the absolute honor of leading an incredibly talented group of creators and producers and technical people. <laughs> All right, um, so Toto, that's Daniel, who is the puppeteer. Say hi to Daniel. Um, and you, you can see Toto there, isn't he adorable? We, in fact, have six Totos, uh, and they were built for us by the Jim Henson Creature Company. So we just saw Wizard of Oz. It was an amazing show. Lots of um, special effects, different things. Pretty cool. Um, word of caution though, it is an hour and a half long. So it's really, really long. Um, I personally didn't mind, but I know if you have kids, then it might be a little bit rough. I'm having them there. Also, there were a couple points where like where the Oz um, was on the screen. There was a kid that was, you know, kind of freaked out about it. And, you know, so if you have a kid that's fearful and I think it was they made his sound really loud and he echoed and that could be kind of frightening so keep that in mind um, but yeah um, awesome show definitely recommend going to see it but if you can't sit for an hour and a half there's no intermission um, it may not be something you want to do but definitely worth it um, it was really really good they just shut down the pools early yeah I noticed this um, this is night two and it's like they shut down the pools early. But I think that might be consistent across Royal Caribbean that they do that. So yeah, it looks like they have the jacuzzis open. They just closed the pools. So there are a couple jacuzzis over here that are still open. pizza is the same pizza they have at Coco K. Um, and it, I don't think this is the regular serrano. I think it's a little different. Uh, I think they changed the recipe. I don't know if I'm a fan of it. <laughs> is it okay? I mean, is it sweet? Okay. It's not like it is on the other ships. Yeah. It's sweet, yeah. It's sweet. Like all the sauces are sweet. So it seems like they changed the recipe up. I'm not a fan of it. Alright, 
we are back here at Pearl Cafe to grab something to eat. Wind Jammer was closed early. I don't know if that's always the case, but they closed at nine. Um, and we had that late lunch, kind of early dinner. So we're gonna, um, we had that at Sports Bar. So we're gonna just grab something light here. Um, but everything else is closed and did not care for Sorrento's. These are some grab and go options. All right, so pardon me if I look blue. <laughs> my GoPro died instead of my light. So um, yeah, we're here at Pearl Cafe. Just grabbed a, a Greek salad and a half a Italian sandwich. Um, looks pretty good. They have some quick grab and go options. And then they also have some like sandwiches that they'll warm up for you. They have desserts, coffee, all kinds of things here. This is included. So check it out. This is very, um, this replaces the Promenade Cafe. Um, so they have plenty of options there. Um, if you want something late in the evening and when jammers close. So um, we're gonna have this and maybe grab a bite of dessert and see what else we're gonna get into tonight. All right, so we are back in the cabin. Um, it is after 10 o'clock. Not a whole lot going on that we are interested in. There is a comedy show that's starting at 1045. Um, we didn't get reservations for that. So you have to make reservations for things. So we don't have reservations. We weren't sure if we wanted to stand in the standby line or not. Um, so if you don't make a reservation, you can get standby. Um, but they're kind of first come first serve. Um, they had the dueling pianos going on right now, which I would have loved to have spent time there, but it's a packed venue. I mean, there was a line out. I mean, people are just standing and drinking and that's a crowded venue. Um, not a whole lot going on. So I'm going to go ahead and probably edit, call it a night. Um, guys, the food, I have to say this. I'm, yesterday's food was, was pretty good. Today's food, um, we had a really good lunch or late lunch or early dinner at Playmakers. That was really good. Uh, the buffet closed at nine o'clock. I don't know if that's standard, but we really couldn't find anything. Sorrento's, we don't like the new recipe of Sorrento's. I don't know if you guys recall, but there was a big controversy with Royal Caribbean trying to charge for pizza early, uh, early last year. And then they came out saying they weren't going to charge for pizza. Well, I think they're not charging, but I think that they might have changed the recipe. Um, if you're cruising on Icon, let me know what your thoughts are. My sister was just on Independence of the Seas last week. And she said the Sorrento's on that ship was different than here on Icon. So I don't know if they're rolling out new pizza options for this ship, but I personally don't care for them. Um, then we went to the um, the Pearl Market. And again, this is Promenade Cafe, or, or we went to the Pearl Cafe. And they had salads and sandwiches. Didn't care for any of it, honestly. Um, the salad probably would have been fine, but instead of it being like an oil and vinaigrette, it was just all oil. Um, the desserts were so, so, so not really a whole lot that I could say that I really, really love. I mean, of course there's things that I could eat, you know, I'd find things. Also the Aquadome, um, you guys know they had different venues. I went there day one, um, where you can dine. Well, we went there tonight. They only had two of them open. So I don't know if that's the case because this is a preview sailing. So those of you who are cruising Icon later, let me know. Um, but yeah, they only had two open which weren't the two that we wanted. So we're just going to call it a night. And tomorrow is a sea day. So um, we'll be up and about doing sea day things. Uh, there are a few things going on that we want to do tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, it's been a very full day at Coco Cay. We had an awesome time at Hideaway Beach. So um, that was probably the highlight of the day. We had a really, really good time there. So we're going to call it a night. Um, it's not too late. I'm not feeling too tired, but I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of work and then um, get up bright and early. So I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>